So, in this week's chapter of Bleach, it seems like some of Ichigo old enemy become his new ally. Now, the first one to come out of the portals was Grim Jow. Grim Jow was about to attack Ichigo, but even if he attacked Ichigo, Ichigo could have beat the crap out of him because Ichigo not even used his full power. The time when Ichigo was fighting him, Ichigo power was restricted by the Quincy King that was in his sword. So Ichigo wasn't at full power. Now, it seemed like the second person come out of the portal was Nell. Nell, that was quite exciting. I know that, well, that was quite funny because when Nell come out of the portals and attack our Og Ichigo, Ode Hime was quite shocked. Ode Hime was quite jealous. Ode Hime was quite envious right there. Because Ode Hime was saying not even she did that to Ichigo and Nell did it. So she was saying, she was saying, why did Udo Ara build real her the technology to change form? So Chad have to tell all the email that Udo, um, Udo Ara didn't build it for that purpose. He should, she should just think about that he built it for a good reason, <laughs> because that because all the email was quite shot right there. Now, you see that the third person who to come out was Ryuko, or Ryu Ryu. Ryuko, I forgot her name, something like that. It seemed like she, she, she's a person who could uh, um, take, who, when Ichigo was training to master his, his full brain, she was the one who put him into the dollhouse and when he was training. Now, it seemed like her power, because she adore things, she can, she, she can move that thing anywhere she wants. And it seemed like the next person was the guy who can control things like a like game. Now. It seemed like um it seemed like their powers their powers were come together create a portal that I would like like Aizen. Remember the portal that Aizen used from when he used to move from Waco Mundo to the mortal world? That's the same thing they built. So because the, the, the same thing that they built was restricted because it couldn't move too far. So the place that they were were, were at right now and it seemed like you seen like that place was connected to the Soul King Palace. That's what um Yodorichi was saying because she put a nail up there that connect them. Now it seemed like the Soul King was absorbed by the Quincy King because the Quincy King was extremely pure black. When I said it was pure black, it was pure black. And it seemed like something is his bodyguards was um somewhere else because they were saying that they couldn't stay close to the Quincy King because if they stay too close the Quincy King will absorb them he will eat them so because of that now it seemed like Ichigo cousin the one who fired the arrow at him was worrying about something I don't know what but this week episode was quite excited at first but uh, later on it cannot get cannot get him bored now subscribe like the video Comment in the comment box if you feel like it. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. And I give this chapter a 9 out of 10.